All right, in today's video, we're going to take a look at recycled 18650 cells. So what is an 18650 cell? It is actually a lithium ion battery cell. And when you put a lot of them together, it's what powers electric skateboards, Teslas until they come out with their new battery and all sorts of electronics that you might be familiar with. Maybe even a cordless drill. Those nice DeWalt Milwaukee Makita battery packs, those all are filled with these. And when I say these, I'm talking about these right here. Now, this does not have shrink wrap around it, which makes it kind of dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Because right here, if we connect the positive to this outside bit, that will short it and create sparks. So imagine any piece of metal touching this button to anything on, whoop, on the outside here, you're gonna have problems. And that's why they are shrink wrapped, just like this. Now, we have a little insulator here, and then we have the shrink wrap. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to take recycled cells, and you may mar them up by trying to recycle them. By mar, I mean screw up this outside coating. So we're gonna show you how to take this outside coating off, how to add an insulator, and then finally, how to add whatever color you'd like of the actual cell coating. So this one's green, this one's blue. We have a nice sky blue here. And just so you know, when you go to recycle these batteries, you can go to a couple different websites that I will link in the description below. And in that description, you'll find what I found here, which was pretty cool. It was about 30 bucks to get 28 cells. So just a just a touch over a dollar a cell with shipping. And once you do that, you will get little modem batteries that have never been charged, which means these are brand new right here. So you can use these in whatever application you want. They don't have a thousand cycles through them. They are brand new, but you need to recycle them. And to do that, you take them out of the modem battery package and you might mess this up. So we're going to show you how to rewrap these cells right now. So this one has a little nick here. So to rewrap it, you do not want to start at the top. So you don't want to start cutting in right at the top because if you do that, you might bridge this button and the outside. So we want to start on the back. Now this one has a little nick on the side and that's why we're going to rewrap it. So all you have to do is cut a little bit of this shrink wrap here until you can get it started, just like that. And then you'll just tear as you go down. And there you go, you have it off. Now, these are non-adhesive insulators that came with these cells, and I'm just gonna throw these away. If you don't have an ability to get adhesive insulators, then you might wanna hang on to these. So the next step is we're actually going to use these, which is multicolored shrink wrap plus an insulator, and we'll be able to turn that into a cell that is safe to use in any application. All right, so let's take a look at how to actually rewrap and then heat shrink one of these batteries. So my friend Jeff here is actually going to pick a color out of the case. Why don't you go ahead and open that case? Okay. And what color would you like? You want that nice forest sure. green? Forest green. Okay, so it can be a little tricky, but the first step is to actually ignore the heat shrink altogether and to take off one of those adhesive um, insulators there and try to put that on the top of the battery. So you can actually apply one to each of those four batteries if you want to. Okay. All right, so if you're using uh, one of these little guys right here, uh, it's because you don't have an adhesive insulator. So if you don't have a nice little pack of these, which you can get on the Amazon description link uh, below, um, you'll wanna hang on to these and you'll basically just lay this right on top of here once you have the shrink wrap on. And then you have to make sure it doesn't blow away when we add the heat. So I would recommend these are really cheap, just purchase a set of them and they'll stay on there and you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So I'll do this first one here. The next step is you're going to want to open up this shrink wrap, which can be tricky because it's really slippery. Oh, but we got it popped open there. 
stick a finger in just like that. And you want to keep it open like this. And we're going to slide the battery right in, just like this. And then you want to make sure we have even amount of extra on the front and the rear. So this one I'm a little heavy here, so I'm going to push it back up. So now this is perfectly set, just like this. We have enough on each side. And now I would recommend using a heat gun like this nice Hako HJ5000. Uh, but you can also use a hair dryer if you don't have one, you'll just have to put it on high heat. Now if you use a heat gun, you're going to want to put it on its lowest heat setting because we don't want to heat up the cell too much. If you do this right, you won't burn your hands and you won't need gloves, but I would recommend always using gloves. So I'm not going to use gloves because I'm awesome. So we're going to put this here on the side. I'm going to turn on our heat gun. Just like that, we only have to wait just a second here. And now, we'll see how this shrunk right up. I can turn it around, it's already cold to the touch. And it's that easy. We have a fully restored 18650 cell, just like that, safe and ready to use. It will not short from the button to the other end. So, do you want to give it a try, Jeff? Sure. All right, so you'll just have to pick another color there, or the same color, whatever you're feeling. Go with red. Go with red, okay. Oh my goodness. It is tricky. See, that's what I was saying. I've had some practice, but uh, there we go, there we go, okay. You think it's about even? I think All right. so. So now we just want to make sure you hold it by one end or the other mm -hmm. uh, because you don't want to blast your fingers with all that heat. <laughs> Finger blasting with heat is not a good idea. So I'll just hold this here and then Jeff can... There you go. All right, now just spin it around. Should be cold to the touch already. And that's it. Just like that, we have a perfectly ready to go 18650 cell for anything you might want to do, like an e-bike battery or a skateboard battery, or maybe just to recharge your phone. And that is all you have to do to take one of these batteries that you've had to take the, the outside off because recycling marred that outside heat shrink and turn it into a nice ready to go 18650 battery. Thanks for watching, and again, all of this shrink wrap, the tools just like the snipper, the heat gun, and all of the other parts we use today will be in the description down below.